Thank you, and good evening. It is um, an honor to be here for this celebration. As Gwen said, a few years ago, I was a fellow at uh, the Bellagio Center, the Rockefeller Foundation Center in Bellagio, Italy. And beyond the great gift of time that that fellowship allows is also the opportunity to interact with other fellows there. There was a woman there who was working on the notion of privacy in the age of Shakespeare. And she'd been to England to see the Braymore House, a museum there, and had come across a series of Mexican Costa paintings. And over dinner one night, she told me, I think because of my own personal history, that she thought I'd be interested in these paintings. I was. I immediately went online to look at them and began writing the poem Taxonomy, which became the spine for my most recent book, Thrall. The Mexican Costa paintings across uh, the 18th century in colonial Mexico represented the mixed blood unions that were taking place in the colony. Um, they were interesting because they began always um, with the white Spaniard father. They were done in series of 16. You saw both parents as well as the offspring they would have produced. And interestingly, the taxonomies, the different names uh, created to name these mixed blood Costas right there on the painting as well. I was also interested in them because when you were born a Costa, your name was immediately written down in that book of Costas. And also the idea that indigenous blood over a few generations of mixing could be purified to whiteness, but that the taint of African blood was irreversible. So you had names like mulatto returning backwards, hold yourself in midair, and I don't understand you. This is after a series of Costa paintings by Juan Rodriguez Suarez, circa 1715. Taxonomy. One, de Espanol y de India produce mestizo. The canvas is a leaden sky behind them, heavy with words, gold letters inscribing an equation of blood. This plus this equals this as if a contract with nature or a museum label, ethnographic, precise. See how the father's hand beneath its crown of lace curls around his daughter's head. She's nearly fair as he is. Calidad, see it in the brooch at her collar, the lace framing her face. An infant, she is born over the servant's left shoulder, bound to him by a sling, the plain blue cloth knotted at his throat. If the father, his hand on her skull, divines, as the physiognomist does, the mysteries of her character, discursive, legible on her light flesh, in the soft curl of her hair, we cannot know it, so gentle the eye he turns toward her. The mother glancing sideways toward him, the scarf on her head, white as his face, his powdered wig, gestures with one hand, a shape like the letter C. C, she seems to say, what we have made. The servant, still a child, cranes his neck, turns his face up, toward all of them. He is dark as history, origin of the word native, the weight of blood, a pale mistress on his back, heavier every year. Two, de espanol y negra produce mulatto. Still, the centuries have not dulled the sullenness of the child's expression. If there is light inside him, it does not shine through the paint that holds his face in profile, his domed forehead, eyes nearly closed beneath a heavy brow. Though inside, the boy's father stands in his cloak and hat. It's as if he's just come in or that he's leaving. We see him transient, rolling a cigarette, myopic, his eyelids drawn against the child passing before him. At the stove, the boy's mother contorts, watchful, her neck twisting on its spine, red beads yoked at her throat like a necklace of blood, her face so black she nearly disappears into the canvas, the dark wall upon which we see the words that name them. What should we make of any of this? Remove the words above their heads, put something else in place of the child, a table perhaps upon which the man might set his hat, or a dog 
upon which to bestow the blessing of his touch, and the story changes. The boy is a palimpsest of paint, layers of color, history rendering him that precise shade of in-between. Before this, he was nothing, blank canvas, before image or word, before a last brushstroke fixed him in his place. Three, de Espanol y Mestiza produce Castiza. How not to see in this gesture the mind of the colony? In the mother's arms, the child hinged at her womb, dark cradle of mixed blood, call it Mexico, turns toward the father, reaching to him as if back to Spain, to the promise of blood alchemy, three easy steps to purity. From a Spaniard and an Indian, a mestizo. From a mestizo and a Spaniard, a castizo. From a castizo and a Spaniard, a Spaniard. We see her here, one generation away, nearly slipping her mother's careful grip. Four, the Book of Castas. Call it the catalog of mixed bloods or the Book of Not, not Spaniard, not white, but mulatto returning backwards, or hold yourself in midair, and the Morisca, the Lobo, the Chino, Sambo, Albino, and the No Te Entiendo, the I Don't Understand You. Guidebook to the colony, record of each crossed birth, it is the typology of taint, of stain, blemish, sullying spot, that which can be purified, that which cannot, Canaan's black fate. How like a dirty joke it seems. What do you call that space between the dark geographies of sex? Call it the taint, as in it taint one and it taint the other illicit and yet naming still what is between. Between her parents, the child, mulatto returning backwards, cannot slip their hold, the triptych their bodies make, in paint, in blood, her name, written down in the book of castas, all her kind, in thrall to a word. Thank you. <laughs> 